Yeah, philosophy seminars. So m there are many people maybe who are watching who've never been to a philosophy seminar before. And maybe many people watching haven't been to a physics seminar. That's okay. I mean, people come to this. I mean, you've got people who are brand new. Maybe they're, they're students. Maybe they're, you know, in secondary school, maybe earlier than secondary school. I don't know. Um, or maybe they've just gone into different fields. Or maybe they're not in academia. And that's all, that's all great. I mean, we're all contributing in some way to the world, hopefully. Um, but there are many people who maybe have been to physics seminars and don't know what a philosophy seminar is like. And I'll just tell you, when you go to a philosophy seminar, especially in philosophy of science or philosophy of physics or analytic philosophy, the level of precision in your language, I mean, you, you have to be, so the way they usually work is, so I, physics seminars usually work like this. There's a, a speaker who talks for 45 minutes, maybe an hour, depends on the length of the seminar. People often interrupt like in the middle of the seminar, they'll just, when they have questions, they just sort of interrupt in the middle. Um, and someone who's maybe not very practiced, who's giving the talk, may get derailed. And this can sometimes lead to problems, but hopefully everyone's respectful in the questions if there are any are kept brief. And then at the very end of the seminar, they all thank the speaker, they clap, they thank the speaker, and then they say, all right, we've got five minutes for questions. Any questions? And, you know, most people don't, I mean, they can't, I mean, there's just no time to really ask a substantive question. Uh, a lot of people feel very nervous because they're like, oh, maybe there's a more senior person here, a professor who wants to ask a question and I don't want to interfere. Or if there's only going to be like time for one question, I don't want to ask a question that's going to be like a bad question. So people like often feel very nervous about asking questions and there isn't really a good substantive dialogue. In philosophy seminars, what often happens is you'll have a talk, half hour, 45 minutes, sometimes they go an hour. Then there's a break. People go and they, they take five minutes, they get refreshments, they come back, and then there's like an hour of discussion right? And the discussion is often the most interesting part of the seminar, right? And because there's like an hour, everybody asks questions. The students ask questions because no one is afraid they're asking the one question. No one's afraid they're going to look bad because there's going to be 10 more questions after their question. And people can really have a substantive discussion and dialogue. So that's great. And I actually really like the culture of these seminars.